It really wasn't a surprise this year's Heisman went to Oklahoma's Baker Mayfield. That was expected. What was sort of unexpected, at least to folks around here in Louisville, was Lamar Jackson finishing a distant third in the votes. Tonight, John Calipari looked to make history by ignoring history altogether. Did you guys see the end of the Alabama basketball game yesterday? The Crimson Tide were forced to play out the remainder of their game with Minnesota with only three players, and somehow they almost won. John Calipari wouldn't call it a must-win situation, but there was no denying the importance of Kentucky's game at 7th-ranked West Virginia tonight. Western Kentucky, meanwhile, hoped to put a stop to a two-game losing streak. The Hilltoppers battling the same Indiana State team that beat IU in the season opener. Wondering how the Indiana Hoosiers made it all the way to the finals of the College Cup? Look no further than Louisville native Trey Muse. Feel-good story of the week comes from former Louisville Cardinal Donovan Mitchell. He's made it to the big time at the NBA, but it's clear he has not forgotten about the people that have gotten him there. While the Louisville men's basketball team has struggled to find a rhythm in the early part of the season, the UofL women are already playing like a well-oiled machine. Bengals cornerback Drake Kirkpatrick set a new NFL record today, but I don't think it's something he'll brag to the grandkids about. Whether they play in Rupp or Memorial, victories have been all too rare for the Louisville women in Lexington. The other good news, Eric, they're wearing those throwback oh. uniforms, and I'm told they're 2-0 against Syracuse when they do it. It almost From looks fake, on. doesn't it? <laughs> and like I, for one, welcome our alien overlord. <laughs> we end with horse racing. And speaking of endings, Gunrunner got a perfect end to his career at the Pegasus World Cup Invitational.